The forge is finally here in Gods Unchained. That means play to earn is fully functional. How do you earn cards? How do you forge those cards? What is Flux, God's Tokens? Let's take a look at all the ways you can earn money in Gods Unchained. All right, so you're new to Gods Unchained and you want to make money. Here's what you need to know. Every time you level up, you earn packs. Every level, you earn a rare pack, but every 10th level, you earn an epic pack, and every 25th level, you earn a legendary pack. Once you've earned enough XP to get a pack, they'll show up in your open packs page. Now you earn XP by playing games and also you earn even more by winning games, but you also just earn them even if you lose. So as you get your XP, you then go to your open packs page. You can see what kind of packs you have. We've got a rare pack here. Let's open it up and take a look at this core pack here. It's a rare core pack. We just got a legendary card. That's very rare. Uh, it's not gonna happen very frequently. I think this is only the third legendary I've ever, ever pulled from a rare pack. So don't expect that to happen very frequently, but it can happen. Um, so there you go. I just got a legendary and it's a nice one from a rare pack. Uh, again, that wasn't planned and this is very rare. This does not happen frequently. So don't expect to be banging out legendaries constantly. Anyway, uh, so as you open up packs, you'll notice that there's these locks at the tops of the cards. That means you can't sell these. They are plain uh, borders. You can see they're gray. That means you can't sell these. These are known as plain, unforged, unminted cards. So in order to be able to mint these into NFTs and have them be meteorite, they'll turn red borders, you need the forge. The forge has been down for a long time, but it's finally back. That means now whenever you have two copies of a plain card, you can click on it, you can click two copies, and it will tell you start fusing. You can see now it's got a red border here and no lock at the top because this is going to be an actual NFT minted on the blockchain. So it shows us here, it's gonna cost us two of our cards. These are gonna get destroyed and it costs you some flux and some gods token. So let's see what those are before we spend anything here and figure out how that works. So in order to gain flux, you can see gather flux down here. It says gauntlet of the gods. Every single day you can do your gauntlet wheel. You can play any god at first, they're all grayed out. Once you've played with one, it will unlock other gods next to it. And you can see there's three pips here with little victory symbols inside. I've already gotten three wins with death today and I earned 150 flux. Uh, I can now also start earning with light and with war. And then once I win a single game with war, I could start playing nature if I wanted to. And once I win one with nature, it unlocks magic and so on. And you can get up to three wins with each uh, domain. And the more wins you get around the circle, the more each win is worth. You can get approximately, I think it's 1200 flux or so, somewhere around a thousand flux if you're in mythic and you complete your gauntlet wheel uh, in a single day, it resets every 24 hours. So once you've earned some flux, that is half of the requirements to forge, but there's another half. The other half is God's token. What is God's token? You can earn God's token right now by playing in the Blessing of the Gods event. What is the Blessing of the Gods event? Well, as you can see here, you can play a number of matches each week, and there's five days remaining for this week. Once you've earned a certain number of points, you can get up to four points total if you're in the highest ranks of Diamond or Mythic. And then you get a number of gods allocated based on the number of players playing. I have another video you can check out that explains this in a little bit more detail. But uh, effectively, you can just earn some free gods over the first three weeks. I think we've earned something like 29 gods token. So how much does it cost? So currently gods tokens are $6.86 per token. So I kind of did the math to break down the cost based on the USD at the time of filming. Um, obviously this can fluctuate. I'm not a financial advisor. I don't know if this will go up or down. Do your own research. So in order to fuse each type of card, it costs you a different amount of assets. So first of all, you're going to need the two plain copies, which are going to get destroyed, and then it will mint one NFT. 
If you're doing a common, you also need 20 flux and 0.1 gods. That works out to roughly 69 cents, nice, uh, in order to mint one common card. In order to mint a rare, you need 40 flux, 0.3 gods, that's 206, epics 120 flux, 0.7 gods, which is like 480, legendary, you need 200 flux, 1.5 gods, uh, and, and 1029 is the conversion here for the 1.5 gods, so it kind of costs you a little over $10 to, to mint a legendary card, but that means that the floor for these legendary cards should be at least whatever people are paying to mint them, and then more, hopefully they're counting their own time, getting the flux, and destroying the two unminted copies as well. So there's also a flux airdrop. So if you've been playing for a while, um, you could have lots of flux and be sitting on a, a little gold mine of God's tokens. They decided that they would give 0.0054 God's token per flux that you've earned as of the snapshot date on October 26th. If you've been playing for a while, I have 85,000 flux. Maybe you have 500 flux, you'd get yourself 2.7 gods. Maybe you have 2,000 flux, you get 10 gods, etc. You can make your own little calculator here. Um, but you'll be getting some free gods token if you've been playing the game, earning that flux. Very cool. Now let's take a look at the forge in action. Let's do it. We're going to forge a card. I'm going to click it twice. I think it needs to be clicked twice in order to go high to low because, of course, we want our best, most rarest cards. That's what we're going to be selling. That's where we're going to make the big bucks, maybe. I'm not a financial advisor. I don't know. You click two cards. Here you can see we get that nice, beautiful meteorite copy. In the future, if you have five meteorite copies, you'll be able to forge those into a shadow copy, five shadows into a gold, five golds into a diamond. Uh, and get extremely rare cards from that. But for now, only Meteorite is enabled. So I'm going to go ahead and forge these two Asteriuses. It's going to cost me 200 Flux and 1.5 Gods. But I'm going to do it. Let's click Start Fusing. It's going to tell me that this is permanent. It's going to destroy these two copies that are plain and locked that are not NFTs. And it's going to create one NFT. So let's do it. Here we go. It's underway. And now it's going to tell you you have to go confirm it in your MetaMask. You click the continue button. It's going to pop open. It's going to tell me to unlock my wallet here. Oh, then I hit sign in. And here we go. It's telling me to confirm my 1.5. And transfer complete. We hit finish, and it's being minted onto Immutable X. To check its status, click on the history back on the forge. So let's check out the forge. Let's check out history tab here. Indeed, I actually minted an Asterius before I started filming this video, and currently we just minted a second one as we're filming. Very cool. That is awesome. We now have two copies of Asterius in Meteorite. So what else can you do with the Forge? Well, there's also a weekend ranked event that happens every single weekend. Your first 25 games are tracked, and depending on how many wins you get, you actually get to earn a bunch of free packs uh, in addition to the ones you're getting for leveling up. And they can also overlap with the Blessing of the Gods event. So you can earn a lot of packs and gods token in the weekend. But if you go to gudex.com, go to the meta, click player stats, search for your username. You can actually, it keeps track, it keeps track for you. It tells you how many uh, rewards you're going to get. It kind of gives you a little ticker as you're going along. The weekend is over, so it shows me what I won now. I won one rare, one epic, two legendary core packs. Those need to be forged. You can't sell them until you forge them. And I also earned a Divine Order Rare Pack, a Divine Order Epic Pack, and two Divine Order Legendary Packs. Those are already minted. They can be sold right away. So there was a bunch of ways to make money in Gods Unchained. You've got Ranking Up, you earn Core Packs. You get the Weekend Ranked where you earn Core Packs and already minted Expansion Packs. You got the Blessing of the Gods event where you earn Gods Token. Uh, and there's, that's going on for at least another four weeks. Once that's done, I've heard rumors that it will be replaced with a daily or weekly quest system where I believe maybe you'll still be able to earn gods. 
Uh, there'll be more details on that later, so make sure you subscribe to this channel so you can be filled in when there's more details on that. Uh, you've got the Forge, which costs Flux and Gods, but mints you NFTs that you can then sell. And there's also staking, which we didn't touch on, which is every single time that these cards are being forged, those gods that we're spending are going into a pool. If you're staking your gods token in that pool, you'll actually get a piece of the pool from everyone who's forged cards. The stake pool is not available yet, so make sure, again, you stay tuned, and I will be bringing you more details as soon as that is available. Whew. All right, guys, hope you found that helpful. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.